smell. Tatiana, you're the spy. What are you talking about? Taking a fancy tour, eh, hey, Ocelot? Sure, it looks like it, don't it? No. I have no interest in this woman. I want to test her. I'll let this be the judge. Do as you like. Here we go. Uh-oh. Oh. Oh. Yeah. Oh. Well, at least he only lost one eye. He could have lost both of them. There. Satisfied now. Get slapped up. Refreshing. <laughs> Come, we're going to my room. There's something up with this dude in his room. Oh, something's coming up. <laughs> Ow! I had suffered enough, man. So you survived the curse. Yeah, I'm a tough one. this has made me realize something <laughs> it's really not that bad it's the ultimate form of expression oh, I'm gonna hurt you last lap you got lucky this time Tatiana She crying for? Oh yeah, that's pretty cool, right there. This is supposed to be. I don't know. I think it's after this. Oh! Ouch! Oh yeah, here it is. Look, one four four seven five. Hey, that's pretty cool too. Uh, the very edge of the edge of the right part of the screen will be blacked out. How is your eyes shot? It's a really nice touch. I've prepared an escape route for us. Go out and head west. <laughs> Pass underneath the connecting passageway and go north. You'll find an open manhole there. You're quiet. Go through the manhole down into the sewers. The door at the north end of the sewers is unlocked. You can use it to get outside the fortress. I've got your equipment. We'll meet up later. Eva. But I can't get too close to your cell. You'll have to figure a way out of there yourself. I'll be in touch. You guys want to make me your fun bag too? I guess not. Fork. Oh yeah. It just gets automatically equipped. Come here, rat. Just be able to throw it out. I don't want it. Really? Come on. Hey, 
There we go. Come here. What's that? Fine, he can eat it. Noise. He sounds familiar. He is the grandfather, by the way, to uh, the guard in Metal Gear Solid 1, who looks after Solid Snake when. I'm all messed up. Yeah, who looks after Solid Snake once. Oh, yeah, once you go through the, his torture scene. That is his grandfather right there. Or maybe his father. I think it's his grandfather. I'm not sure. some point or another he's gonna have a diarrhea problem and that's what I'm gonna escape yeah see that how like the edge of the screen is blacked out that's really cool time. oh this frog Do that three times, hey. you'll get a special cutscene. If it takes a crap before then, though, I'm not going to show it. Because I think he's about to go. Got 45% naked, and I'm all messed up. My back's itching. Oh, man. It's good in the back. Okay. Spin. Mm, sit and spin. Sit and spin. Sit and spin all day. Hey, hey, eat up. I guess I would get to show it then if you haven't seen it. It's pretty cool. Okay, there we go. Hey, you're not such a bad guy after all. I, uh, <laughs> I guess uh. not all Americans are dogs. You mean it? Yeah. See, so he even has a J. You know. On his mask. Before the war started, I used to live in America. I even had a, a wife and a kid. You must be pretty lonely. Yeah, I am pretty lonely. Really lonely. What's your kid's name? Johnny. Johnny. Nice ring to it. Really? You like it? Well, if you say so, I'll believe you. Actually, my name is Johnny, too. All the firstborn sons in my family are called Johnny. Hmm. My dad's a Johnny, and my One son's son will probably be a Johnny, too. So if you miss the sorrow, that's where you can get it. A whole clan of Johnnies. Yeah. Why do we have a Cold War anyway? Our two countries used to be such good friends. Yeah, I hear you. I 
just want to see my family again. Things must be rough. Yeah. Not as rough as you have it, though. Here. I filched them from your equipment when the Colonel wasn't looking. That's the sick gas, man. The least I can do. <laughs> well, don't suppose you could let me out of here? Huh? I can't do that. Hey, don't you go getting any funny ideas. If you try to escape, I'll have to shoot you. Gotcha. I've said too much. I gotta go. <clears throat> That's a pretty cool little cutscene. Where is he? Go to the codec and just do one four four seven five. Yep, pass it up. Dang it! Come on now. I keep stopping so it doesn't end up skipping ahead. The door has been unlocked. Thank you very much. Let me see if I can find anything on him. So, um, yeah. Did you manage to escape? Yeah, I'm out. Be careful. In your present state, you're practically naked. You don't have a single decent weapon, and you'll never survive in a battle. Take some time and pull yourself together. Eva says she's recovered your equipment, so rendezvous with her as soon as possible to get your gotcha. gear back. Use the escape route Eva set up for you. Go down into the sewers through the manhole in the northwest section of Groznygrad. Start out by exiting the holding cells gotcha. and heading northwest. Smoke grenade. A book. Oh no, it's ramen noodles. Cool. Wakes up and I'm gone. I'm right right there.
Let me just see if this works. Nope. No. Oh, thought if I was a little closer, Nobody it might here. work now. Dang it! Time to just run. Ow. Oh. Thought I could have gone for the box, but I was afraid to. I'm afraid I might get caught. It ended up happening anyway, so I guess it really doesn't matter. Go away, dog. Put the dog to sleep. There we go. Go to bed. And we are home free. Man, I wish I could play that fast. See how fast he moved. Snake, you're already in the yep. sewers. Eva, yeah, I just got down here. Hmm. I'm coming to meet you now. The door at the north end is open, right? Uh, Snake. Let me guess. Yeah. There's a problem. In there always. Yeah. What is it this time? The colonel found out you escaped. He did, huh? I figured as much. Yeah, and now all of Grosny oh, great. is on red alert. <laughs> Just my luck. But once I'm out of the fortress... You can't get out. I can't? When the fortress went on red alert, they sealed off the sewers. You've got to be kidding me. I'm serious. And that means the escape route I laid out is <sighs> sealed yeah. off too. Right. And they just sent a unit out looking for you. Down here? Uh-huh. They'll be there any minute now. You've got to get out quick. But isn't the exit sealed off? You should be able to get out by heading straight north. Book it. <laughs> Snake, if they find you, you're dead. Do I tell me you guys I'm gone? Life medicine. Alright. That ration, I don't want to waste the instant noodles. Ration. Alright, get full stamina. And let's go. As Eva said, let's book it. <laughs> it's great. This doesn't make you run fast or anything, I'm just bored. This is going to be a long run. They got dogs down here, so keep moving. All 
All right. Yeah. Keep moving. I think after this one we can just run. Yep. There we go. Believe it or not, we have a boss fight after this. Kind of. That bumping music. been waiting for this nobody interfere okay Swan dive splash. Wouldn't a fall from that height kill you, even if you did hit the water? It would at least hurt a hell of a lot, I don't know that. Yeah, just one shot away. Kind of. Sad. This shouldn't take too long because I think it kills so one sad. person throughout all of this. A host of sorrows. And you are one of them. I am the sorrow.
Yeah, I think I killed like one guy. I remember accidentally slitting a guy's throat. I remember that. Because I'm alive. There's actually a way to skip past all of this. Yeah, I think the animals you kill are actually in here in the form of fish. Yeah, see, there's that one guy who's thrown a slip by accident. I'm sorry about that, man. And you can't, like... I'm going to just show you. You can't swim past this. To make it go faster, you have to walk. Don't touch them or they'll start draining your life. I didn't even kill the pain, I put him to sleep. Okay. But they show up in here anyway because they blow themselves up. Whoa! So you just kind of have to dodge his attacks and avoid touching the people. If you can, I mean, they don't drain a whole lot of life. I think he just slows you down. I don't think, he, I don't think he'll kill you. He might take a little bit of life, but as far as I can tell, it's not much. Where are all these... What's with all these fish? Did I, like, throw a grenade in the water or something? Whoa! Whoa, whoa, whoa. Whoa, I'm not paying attention. Well, that's what happens when you get hit. Yeah, we just kind of passed up the end. And here's the Fury. It was the last fight we had before this guy. Who's mad even in death. The end actually had his parrot with him. You can actually kill his parrot if you so desire, and it'll make the fight a little bit easier for you when you fight the end. I forgot to point that out. And in the cutscene, when the end's about to blow himself up, the parrot will actually appear as a ghost. Yeah, go back to your own world. We're almost done. Because the sorrow's body is right there, and once we touch it, we'll get sent back to the real world. Do not press continue here. Otherwise, I think you have to do all that again. Just use the revival wheel. Boss, you have to shoot me. I can't. Shoot me. You want to finish your mission, don't you? Then you'll have to shoot me. <laughs> Go, Snake, go! Battery for controller for one of the lines. I'll have to switch that out after this. Oh man, I missed the uh, uh, one event. Cause I just put the controller down. Oh. 
Snake, are you all right? That was a close call. What the hell happened to me? You were halfway drowned at the bottom of the river. Almost. Almost. The other side. Other side. So that really was. Something on your mind, Snake? Major, was there a man in the Cobra unit called the Sorrow? Yes, I've heard of him. He was an uncanny soldier who fought alongside the boss. What kind of man was he? The Sorrow was a man with, well, special powers. He had ESP, which was the subject of extensive research in the Soviet Union at the time. He was especially gifted as a medium. A medium? Someone who can communicate with the spirit world and evoke the spirits of the dead. In other words, he could yeah. talk to ghosts. They say he could find out what was going on in a battle by talking to dead soldiers. This is a huge what advantage, isn't it? Boss? What was the story between them? I don't know the details. Why don't we ask Sigurd? Yo, I finished checking up on this Sorrow guy a while ago. Thought you guys already knew, though. Knew what? That he's dead. He's been dead for two years now. Died two years ago? At Salino Yard. Yeah, that's why you know, his body was there. And the boss is the one who did him in. The boss? Yep. Two years ago, the boss was sent by the CIA on a secret mission to Salino Yard. That's when she met the Sorrow, who'd gone back to the Soviet Union after the Cobras broke up at the end of the war. Except this time they were enemies. And then what? The boss killed the Sorrow herself and accomplished her mission. At least, that's what the records say. So, he was never there in the first place. He just couldn't let go of the boss. You okay, Snake? Yeah, I'm fine. It looks like it's not time for me to die yet. I sure hope not. Otherwise, the whole mission is shot. We're counting on you, pal. Roger that. Eva? Snake, you didn't call. I was worried. Are you all right? Yeah. I took a pretty freaky detour. What are you talking about? Nothing. Forget it. Let's just say I'm back. Good. But how did you escape from the sewers? I jumped into the river. From all the way up there? Yeah. You're out of control. Yeah. I got carried away by the current and almost drowned. Great. That's perfect. What do you mean that's perfect? I mean, if you ended up in the river, then I know a good spot nearby. Let's meet up there. Where is it? Keep going upstream until you get to a waterfall. A waterfall, huh? Right. Behind that waterfall, there's a cave. We'll meet in there. The cave behind the waterfall upstream. <laughs> got it. See you there. Alright, cool. Caution. <laughs> 